Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. I believe that in life we are called to be that abolitionist on the Underground Railroad for somebody who's trying to find their way. It's not your job to take people, pull them and make them get to freedom. It is your job to guide, sometimes to just point the way, sometimes to tell the way, sometimes to show it, and sometimes to live it in front of someone, to live what it is to be free. Karen Denton, uh, my high school English teacher, was one of those people, and she helped us find our voice. And in helping us find our voice, she did it in a way that exposed us to all the things in the world without demanding that we change to see it. One of those exercises was Shakespeare. When we got to Shakespeare, we had to perform a soliloquy from one of Shakespeare's plays. And I think for this reason, I still speak in iambic pentameter. But <laughs> I did a um, scene from Macbeth when he hears of the death of Lady Macbeth. And I think that's right. Anyway. Um, so the tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow speech, but we could do it in whatever way we wanted to do. We didn't have to try to be Shakespearean actors. She explained that Shakespeare was for the people and we were the people. And so we should do it that way. And mine looked like this tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps into this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have blighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. <sighs> Life is but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then it's heard no more. It's a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. I love the look on her face when she said that was brilliant. I was trying to be rebellious. I was trying to be wayward. I was trying to go against something. And in it, she found the brilliance. There are so many young folks who are trying to find their voice, trying to go against, trying to stand out, trying to find a way, a path. And all we have to do is reflect their brilliance and show them the way. Over there, keep going. What you have is brilliant. Just hearing that, hearing someone say that in my whole silliness, there was brilliance. I am grateful for the abolitionist who ignite a passion for learning. It is our job. It is our role. It is our calling. It is why we're all here to show each other the way. I love you.